Hey everybody, it's Mazius616 here with another video for you today and today is our 50 subscriber special. Thank you guys so much for all who have subscribed here recently to the channel. So I figured I'd give you guys a treat. Today we have a Time Spiral Draft Pack, which is three draft packs of Time Spiral. We have a Magic Mystery Cube box and a pre-release kit of Neon dynasty that yes i will be giving the pre-release code away in this video so hope you guys are doing great please hit that subscribe button smash that like button share it with your friends without any further ado let's get on let me know down in the comments below what you guys want to see for the 75 and then the 100 subscriber special that hopefully will be coming up here soon because i would like the channel to keep growing we have actually grown quite a bit in the last month I know that's some from people that I've met along the way and also from people who have just stumbled upon the channel. So if this is your first time viewing, smash away. All right, let's get into this mystery magic cube because this has a Fate Reforged and a War of the Spark pack. Not to mention, I'm not sure what the deck is that's contained inside. The last couple of times you've gotten burned on the deck itself and the deck ended up being something like a land pack or some crap like that. I do not advise in any way whatsoever to buy these, but this looks like an M15 Angel deck. Uh, we'll open, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and flip through this real quick. We're not going to spend a whole lot of time on the deck components, but I like looking through and see what we got. Oh, this, oh, this isn't even a deck. This is, ah, uh, yeah, these are some of the creatures and things you get. So if you ever buy, what's where I'm looking for? It's a, uh, Oh, the Deck Builder's Toolkits. That's one of the packs you get in the Deck Builder's Toolkit. Which is a bit disappointing, to be honest, but what would you expect? All right, so first let's crack open this Fate Reforged pack. I'm not sure what all actually comes in Fate Reforged. I just know I like opening this set because there's some cool looking stuff in here. We have a Refocus, Dowsing Gloom, Will of the Naga, Sky Captain, Enhanced Awareness, Typhoid Rats, Oldie but Goldie, Riding on the Wall, Goblin, Heal Cutter, Map the Wastes, Collateral Damage, this was before Set Boosters were a thing, so Elite Scale Guard, Break Through the Line, Renowned Weaponsmith, and a Flame Wake Phoenix, not bad for our rare, and a Windswept Health, pay one life, sacrifice, this is a Shockland. Hey, we got a Shockland. Not bad. That's actually not bad at all. Pay one life, sacrifice for a four-star planes card. Not bad at all. And of course, Ugin. Who's our man? All right, so sweet. A Shockland and a Flame Wake Phoenix. Let's sleeve these up real quick. Because we all know how prepared I always am for things. Can't believe we got a Shockland. For those that are new to magic or whatnot, because it took me forever to learn what they meant, a shock land is a land that you pay one life to go find whatever land you want, and it does not enter the battlefield tapped. You just put it onto the battlefield. So you can use this to go, it's especially good in legacy and some commander decks where you can go get any dual land in your deck that doesn't come into play tapped. Like, uh, but it has to have planes or forest on it. And now for War of the Spark. War of the Spark, for those that don't know, a Planeswalker comes in every pack. And uh, there's a couple of really good ones. There's Nicol Bolas the Dragon God. There's Liliana, I think Dreadhorde General. Yes, Liliana Dreadhorde General is the one that we'd be looking for. Uh, Gideon, not so much. I'm not a big Gideon fan. Uh, and then, of course, you've got the Gatewatch. But we have Obnixilis, the Hate Twisted. And for our rare Awakening v Gazi with a really wicked looking swamp, but not quite what we're looking for. That's all right. So we'll go ahead and sleeve up the Awakening of v Gazi. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys think I should do giveaways. If so, they will be limited to the US just due to shipping costs. Uh, but I'm not opposed to doing them. All right, up next, we will go with Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. And I just shut my knife because I don't think far enough ahead. However, I have a better one to use for this. Just, ah, it's got better 
blade on it with some, well actually has a blade on it put that right there all right now the last neon dynasty pre-release pack we opened we ended up getting a dragon spirit for the pre-release cards so let's hope we can get something like that again i do enjoy neon dynasty it's not quite my innistrad but it's still good invitive iteration is our pre-release not bad uh just because i know you guys like these codes i'll go ahead and open this just for the pre-release code give to you guys have oh have some fun play some magic the arena Oop, give me a second let me get you a better better view of it and there's the pre-release code for magic the arena and there it is going in the trash so you guys get to have that we'll go ahead and sleeve up i will have to say that this inventive iteration is not pringled at all which is if you guys have ever had you know foil cars that's pretty good not too bad anything that's two bucks or more will appear on the uh screen with a blown up version and these just look awesome i definitely like them i'm going to use them to help separate out the cards that i have Ooh, i almost forgot we get a dice too and this one is black it's not white like the one we got before I like, oh man, they have been doing so good here lately. All right, so let's go ahead and bust these open and we'll finish off with that time spiral. I uh, hope everybody's doing well, enjoying the week. Hey, it's Friday, weekend's right around the corner. Gonna have lots of fun. Just butchering this pack open, unfortunately. All right, so we have a kunai, a terrarium, call to action, harmonious emergence, moonfolk, puzzle maker, not bad. Light the way. Uh, man, I, I love. First, we're gonna stop. Look at that artwork. Neon Dynasty is pretty. I, I know I'm generally easily uh, buffered by shiny stuff, but I mean, come on, it's Neon. Ooh, we got the Takanuma Abandoned Mire Legendary Land. Not bad. And we got a Plains. No double sided token. But we did get a legendary land. Not too terribly bad. Not bad. I say that way too much. Not a bad pull. Definitely. The ch uh, channel where you can discard, mill three cards, and return creature or planeswalker card from the graveyard to your hand. For each legendary creature you control. Not too, not too bad. I say that way too often. All right. Up next, we have a network terminal. So for those that don't know, in the Neon Dynasty lore, uh, we originally visited Kamigawa 1200 years before this set, which was almost 20 years ago in our time. And it was essentially medieval Japan. Well, now you've got essentially Japan meets uh, cyberpunk. Uh, and we have Sotura Umizawa. Human Ninja, whenever you activate a ninjutsu ability, look at the top three cards of your library, put one of them onto your hand, the rest onto the bottom of your library. This ability triggers only once each turn. Each creature card in your hand has ninjutsu, two, and then an uh, island and a swamp. Not, not too shabby. I almost said it again. I'm working on it. Self-correcting in the middle of a video. Not too shabby, though. Not too shabby at all. I like the idea that it gives all of your cards ninjutsu because you can ninjutsu out some huge creature. And it end up just being somebody who's going to absolutely wreck something up. All right, next we've got Shrine Steward, which is a decent card. Helps you get out your shrines, but I don't really generally like to play shrine decks. So Repeal the Vial, Explosive Entry, Virus Beetle. I have had a lot of saving graces with Virus Beetle. Coiling Stalker, Gift of Wrath, Befriending the Moths, Tawashi, when we were young. Of two target creatures each get plus two if you control an artifact and enchantment those creatures also gain lifelink excellent all right we have a sentinel we have an ogre head helm an island and a samurai i don't know much about the ogre head helm i don't think it's one of the big cards in the set equip creature gets plus two or equip creature deals combat damage to a player you may sacrifice it if you do discard your hand and draw three cards reconfigure 
I guess in the idea that if you don't have any cards in your hand at all, you can discard away. I don't know if that's a loophole that you can play in this game. I know it's one that you can use in Yu-Gi-Oh! where it's like, discard your whole hand, draw, you know, five cards or something like that. You can use that to refill your hand from zero, but that's generally how those cards get banned. Spell Pierce, Debt to the Kami, Master's Rebook, Short Circuit, Ancestral Katana, Simon Sling, Nasumi Blade Blesser, Heir of the Ancient Fang, Kumano Faces Kakasen, which goes over. I, I butchered that second name and I apologize. Sky Blessed Samurai, Blossom Prancer, Tempered in Solitude, and our rare is Tatsun Tatsunari Toad Rider. <laughs> yes. I like the Toad Rider. I'm not going to lie. And we got a Hitsukuga Devouring Chaos Ogre Demon foil and we got a swamp oh this is a good pack our two rares were swamps we got the amazing swamp land one of the swamps was a foil but as far as what i was mentioning pringling earlier you can see that card just ever so slightly has a bend to it a little bit of warping and that one's actually not too bad i've seen some that come straight out of the pack looking like a pringle and those are not fun all right we got two more Neon Dynasties. Can we get a Dragon Spirit? Or any other Mythic for that matter? I don't think we've gotten a Mythic yet. Shrine Steward. Fury. Baden to Antiquity. Arm Guard. We got a Dragonfly Suit. We got a Preserver. We got a Koi. Which can be a pet on Magic Gathering Arena, which is pretty cool. Then we got a Grave Lighter. Not so sure what all's going on down there. We got a Story Weave. We got a Lion Sash, and we got a Foil Moon Circuit Hacker with a Blossoming Sand Dual Land. Not too bad, not too bad at all. All right, last pack for Mythic in this opening, I believe. Uh, once again, thank you guys so much for watching the videos. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you could, you know, subscribe, share it with your friends, you know, I'd appreciate every little bit helps the channel grow. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. You can also find me on Twitch, where I stream video games. Uh, currently, it's Magic the Gathering Arena, but I, my first stream was uh, the new Pokemon Legends Arceus game. I basically just play whatever floats my boat at the time. But I do enjoy playing Arena. I'm not the best at it. You get to have a lot of laughing fun at me if you want to. But I don't mind. I play because I enjoy it, not because I'm good at it. That's why I always call my deck reviews poor deck reviews. Now we've got Born to Drive, Inventive Iteration, and a, I'm going to start calling these Showcase Lands, a Showcase Forest. All right. Inventive Iteration. We now have the pre release version and the non pre release version. Which is a pretty good deal altogether. I'm going to clean up just a little bit. And now we're going to get into the big hitter, Time Spiral. So for those that don't know, if you're new to Magic the Gathering, or if you don't know what was going on during the great pandemic, Time Spiral is a set that has a lot of slivers in it, things like that. It was mainly a set whenever I started playing competitively many moons ago. More moons than I'd care to admit. But they ended up remastering the set. But due to the pandemic, it made it very difficult to print a lot of it. So this set shot up in value. Not only because Time Spiral was a great set with a lot of staples. But also because the difficulty in getting the set in general. So we're going to go through this. Gossamer Phantasms, Spirit Guide, Light Speaker... Utopia Vow, Slivers are the main thing I'm looking for. I had a Wicked Sliver deck that I enjoyed playing thoroughly through and through. I've thought about recreating. There we go, Necrotic Sliver. All Slivers have three sacrificed as permanent, destroy target permanent. Not destroy target creature, not target permanent. You can even destroy the lands with that. Got Parasitic Plume. You have 
boom and bust destroy target land you control and target land you don't control destroy all lands i mean it really just depends on how bad of a day you're having all right so that was our rare then we get trinket mage enters the battlefield you may search your library for an artifact card with converted mana cost one or less reveal it and put it into your hand and shuffle and we got jaya balar task mage boil sweet and we have an assembly worker and friday night magic so that's a three banger of a pack nice didn't get one of the big slivers but that's okay i mean necrotic sliver is nothing to golf at Ah, uh, Trinket Mage. And of course, ne not Necrotic Sliver, but Boom and Bust. I haven't really played a lot with Time Spiral cards. They weren't standard legal. I didn't play a whole lot of Magic back at that point. I like to look at a lot of Magic back at that point, but I didn't really play much. So those are the three hits out of that pack. And I've got Necrotic Sliver set off to the edge. If we get five slivers total, that'll be a good opening. Uh, also, if we get any of the rare or mythic slivers, that will also be a good opening. So I'd be happy about that. All right, we got Empty the Warrens. We got a Dream Stalker, Grinning Ignis, Valid Germinator, Deadly Grub, Nimona Spider, Naumbra Spider, or Thali Trapper, Ivory Giant, Bewilder, Target Creature Gets Minus 3. And you get to draw a card, not too bad. Sudden Shock. Phantom Worm. Worm Spirit of Doom. Primal Force Mage. Oh, no way. Tafiri Mage of Salifur. Zal Zalfur. Holy shit. Oh my god. So whenever I was playing back then, the deck to have had three of these in it. Oh, this card kicked my ass so many times. Flash creatures you own that aren't on the battlefield have flash, and each opponent can cast spells only anytime they could cast a sorcery. It locked down your opponent. There's the mythic, and it's Tafiri of all people. And you got Evolutionary Leap until you reveal a creature card, put that card in your hand, the rest of the bottom library in random order. If you've got a lot of mana on the field and you need a creature, this is a good one to do. All right, so we got Tafiri. All right, this is a fantastic opening. Welcome to the 50 subscriber special. We're gonna do another one at 75 and then a big one at 100 because 100 is where I can finally put youtube.com slash 616 And we got a sliver right up front. All sliver creatures have trample. They are the original hive mind, even more so than the Phyrexians. Pit Keeper, uh, Virulent Sliver, have Poisonous One. Oh, Poison Counters. Ah, oh, man. Blade of the Sixth Pride. Tendrils of Corruption. Manatith, counter target spell unless its controller pays one. Crook Claw Transmuter. Delay. Pong, Pongify. Mystical Teachings, Sengir Nosferatu, Flying, create a 1-2 black creature token, sacrifice return, exile caller, named Nosferatu, from the field to the graveyard, Kosali Pride Mage, Cat Wizard, and an Armorous Seekers. Excellent opening overall, excellent opening, thank you guys so much for cruising along with me during this opening. It's a little bit longer of an opening than I normally do. I do greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for 50 subscribers. Uh, if you want to see me opening any open anything in particular, please throw it down in the comments down below. Uh, let me know what you think of the video. If you liked it, like the video, please. Subscribe, comment, share, do all that good stuff. Let's see if we can't get this channel to 75 subscribers by the end of June. Anyways, thank you guys so much for all that you've done. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you next time.